But here's the thing, what you thought we had never lasted It was good at first, but eventually I could see between all the classes You did everything you could to have me You did your best to make me yours If I knew I have to use this mirror because I need to be really precise or else this is not gonna look good <laughs> All of this would turn out But nobody knew And now we do to you Basically a little backstory on my eyes So I have hooded eyes So I've noticed over the years If I put a shimmery eyeshadow or glitter Or just something that's not a matte eyeshadow on my lid Especially like right in the inner corner If I want to get like a nice um, like shimmer And little like smoky eye going I feel if I put it um too low it's, it transfers up to my upper lid because I put it eyes so if I um, cut the concealer to make kind of like a cut crease but not um, a full cut crease I go a little bit higher than the hood on my eye so when I put the eyeshadow down even if I close my eye or I like move my head or do whatever it won't transfer and if it does transfer it just transfers to the concealer where I put it in the eyeshadow that's already there so if you guys have hooded eyes out there I recommend doing the same trick because it's really helped me improve my eyeshadow and not have um, basically a beautiful matte transition all these beautiful colors blended out and then shimmer just ruins the whole entire thing you guys know what I mean if you're truly into eyeshadow like that so what I do is I really just cut it out and go a little bit higher than my natural hood on my eye and then I just um, spread the concealer out however much I want to put the the glitter or shimmer, whatever I'm putting on my eye. So I would just, why am I not looking in the mirror? <laughs> so I would just do that if you guys have hooded eyes. But if you don't, then just keep doing what you're doing if it's working. But I just do that because it really helps me keep the eyeshadow and the shimmer in one section of my eye. Instead of it just falling everywhere on my eye and ruining the whole entire look. So that's just a little, a little pro tip. I'm just going to do my other eye now. Same technique. And now we do to you Baby, you Baby How can I say it so that you could understand I cannot tell you how stupid I felt I can't believe that I thought we were in love But you were busy playing in my house You did everything you could to have me You did your best to make me all of this would turn out But nobody knew And now we do to you As you can see I have the concealer Pretty good placed on my eye right now And I'm gonna let that Kind of sit down for a little Then I'm gonna set it with a little bit of powder Then put the shimmer I'm gonna go on top of it Which is gonna look so beautiful And I'm really excited But that's a simple trick that I've learned and really, um, it's helped me master a lot of eyeshadows now because I know um, how to put it on better than having the shimmer just go everywhere on my eye and literally ruin some of like my most favorite looks, I swear. It's the worst when you put this beautiful shimmer down, you have this beautiful matte blended crease, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And then like 10 minutes later, you're like, why is the shimmer all over my eye? <laughs> I did not put it there. So this is a really easy technique, and it's been working for me a lot. So I think it'd work for you guys as well. The only tip I would give is I wouldn't use a concealer that's super liquidy. That's why I use this NAR, uh, this NAR, <laughs> this NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer because it's in a, it's like a pot pan concealer, and it's really um, thick and creamy, but it's it's not so liquidy that it's gonna roll off your eye. Because I want something that's gonna be easy to blend, but also easy. Um, to like spread out on my eye and I feel like if you had a liquid concealer it would, whoa it it would just go everywhere and it kind of ruined the look anyway so I would get a concealer that's kind of like a more moussey thick concealer to really um blend out and shape your eye so I'm gonna go in with the shade Kessie Kessie it's that um really just white shade that I used in the beginning to set my primer I'm gonna use that just very lightly to set the concealer that I just put down on my eyes, so just really lightly just patting it in. Just make sure the concealer is set before I put any other um, product on top of it. Before even 
go into that eyeshadow, I'm gonna set, um, not set, I'm gonna wet my brush with the, it's this little rose water I have, it's like a sample I got, I don't even know. So I'm just gonna kind of wet my brush and give it a little bit wet like that, and then I'm gonna go in with the shade Nubia. And we're just gonna pack this all where we put the concealer only, so we can focus the pigment in one area of the eye. I'm actually gonna use my mirror again because I don't not I'm gonna mess this up. Okay. Wow, this shade is so beautiful. Wow, I love that. That is so gorgeous. Shadow. I just felt that the look wouldn't be complete if I didn't add a little bit of a darker kind of color to my outer V area, so I'm going to add a little bit of this brown to finish the look off. This brown is really pigmented, so I've learned that the hard way, so just go little by little, take a little bit, blend it, and then add more if needed. But I'm going to focus this right kind of where I drew the line of my concealer to cut off the shimmer. Just kind of blend it out in my outer V area a little bit. You did everything you could to have me. You did your best to make me yours. If I knew how all of this would turn out, but nobody knew. Blending those eyeshadows all out. My eyes are complete. I'm gonna go in with some mascara to finish this look off. I've been loving these two mascaras literally for the past few weeks, and I like can't stop using them because I just I'm in love with them. So I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Lash Boss mascara first to really lengthen my lashes, give them some volume. Then I'm gonna finish it off with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. It's a really beautiful mascara. It's not, like when people hear the name Marc Jacobs, they think like luxury. It is a luxury brand, but this product in particular is not that expensive. It's only like $26 for a mascara. It's not that bad. So I'm gonna go in and just curl them and then we're gonna get to mascara. I almost forgot actually, holy crap. I forgot to kick off my under eye bank because I usually keep it after I'm done doing eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use this wet and wild little contour palette and use the lighter shade of course. And I'm just gonna kick off this powder under my eyes. And then all over my face as well actually. Back to mascara now. <laughs> Laura Geller first. I love the wand on this. This is like, I think the whole like main reason why I'm so in love with this is like, it has these really fine bristles at the bottom, which I love to use to grip my lashes and just like flick them up and everything. Then it has a more rounded side on the other end of it to really just like give volume and like give it some like definition. And I really love that about this mascara. So awesome.
And yes, if you were wondering, these are my real lashes. I know they look huge in pictures and probably a lot of you think I have extensions, but no, these are my real lashes. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go. just gives so much volume and I love it. So beautiful. I like to go in with a little um, sample mascara I have too, but it has no product on it because it's dried out over the years. But I like to use this um, to just separate my lashes and really position them where I want them to go. And this is the um, Benefit Their Real Mascara Wand if you're wondering. I really love that mascara as well. It's really nice. Yeah, looks good. Now I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. And we're just going to do the same thing we did with the Laura Geller one. I don't use as much of it as I do the Laura Geller one because... This one's kind of just like the finishing touch, while the Laura Geller one's kind of like the foundation of the mascara. So you can switch them vice versa or whatever, but I just like to use them in that order. I'm going to go in with the brush from Benefit as well. I'm going to go in with the brush from... I'm going to go in with the brush from Benefit to really just even them out again and position them. So with this many lashes, it's hard to keep them all going one direction I want. <laughs> I'm also going to go back into this shade. I'm also going to go back into the shade um, Zakia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm doing that wrong. On a little um, fine definer, fine definer, <laughs> on a definer brush. <laughs> and I'm going to smoke it out under my lower lash line to give some definition to the lower lash. I'm going to connect it back up to where my other eyeshadow was so it looks like it's not separate from each other. 